All right, what's up guys? It's Dylan and Kragos. Here yes. we are at the Kragos factory of doom and I always get a lot of requests to do a video on how to build the perfect mountain bike ramp. So today we're doing exactly that. We're gonna build a 900 millimeter tall kicker. And if you're American, that is about three feet. Uh, it's gonna be 900 tall, 1200 wide. Anything and else I'm missing? 2.4 long. 2.4 meters long. Or eight foot for our American friends. Yeah, can you translate the American stuff this whole time? Oh, we'll give it a go. Quarters, quarter inch. We'll see what happens. All that sort of stuff. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> if you have any questions, and we, we're just gonna go over this and make it as simple as possible, but if you do have any questions, let us know in the comments below, and either Craig or I will respond, and um, we'll uh, do our we'll best. We'll do our best. We always do our best. We are always. the best. So, step one is, you need to go to the hardware store and you need to buy two sheets of seven mil uh, thick plywoods. 2.4 by 1200. That's a standard sheet of plywood. You also want to buy a 12 mil sheet, 2.4 by 1200. What's the translation to that? Uh, eight foot by four foot Good. and half inch thick. The other one's <laughs> five sixteen thick. Five sixteen thick? <laughs> yep. All right, look at it. There you go. 12 mil is going to create the size of the ramp and the two sheets of 7 mil is going to create the transition, the riding surface. Let's go Craig. Let's do it. First thing we need to do now is mark out the sides of our kicker, which will be the radius to get our transition for the right takeoff. So I've measured a string line out, 3.1 meters, and we're gonna start at the long bottom edge of our sides. So with a pencil, String line pinned down one corner, we hold it in there, run it along, cut this one piece and then transfer the measurements onto the other side and then we'll have both sides done ready to go. Okay, we've cut one side, now we've flipped the pattern over, marked it out on the other side of their sheet. We'll start cutting that out and then mirror them up together. Okay, now we've cut both our 12 mil sides. Uh, we're gonna screw them together and then sand the radius so they're both exactly the same. Screw them in, Craig. Now, we as will you do can it. see here, Craig is pre-drilling and then using his 24 mil stainless steel power sunk screws. Making sure it's flush at the bottom so both pieces are exactly the same. Okay, so now we've sanded the front edge, so they're both exactly the same. With this one, we're measuring up 900 mil, or three foot, and we're going to be cutting the back of the ramp on a slight angle rather than being square. So that way, when you hit the ramp, there's less chance of it ticking, kicking up a little bit at the back. So that's gonna be the bit of the angle that we're gonna work on there. Now we'll just go and cut it. Now, we do have a big panel saw here, but we're just gonna use the jigsaw because that's what everyone else should have when making a, um, a kicker. Give that a quick sand again so you don't get any splinters and we'll move on to the next bit. Okay, so now we're gonna mark out our ribs for joining the sides together and giving us extra support when we roll our seven mil plywood. We're gonna try 300 mil centers and then we'll see how that goes. If we need more later on, we can still put them in. Starting at the top, Mark down 300 mil, the pencil. Now transfer those marks onto the second piece as well. So that way we know they're gonna be in exactly the same spot side to side. Okay, now our sides are cut. We've marked out our ribs. Uh, we're gonna be using 40 by 19 pine to actually space them and join them together. Let's go to the saw and cut them out. We have a panel saw to do our cutting but not everyone has one of these, so you can use a drop saw, you can use a hand saw or your jigsaw still. We're using the 19 by 40 pine to try and keep it as light as possible, but if you wanna make it a little bit more hardcore, you can use studs, which is 40 by 90, and that'll make it last a lot longer and also be a lot stronger. We're about to cut the ribs to join the two sides of the ramps together. Now, one thing that I see a lot, when people cut the ribs for their ramps, they actually cut it the same width of the plywood that's gonna be the surface to ride on. So what they'll do is make it 1200, but the problem is when you put the sheet on, that actually, it won't be wide enough. So what we need to do is actually take into consideration the 12 mil pieces on the side of the ramp and deduct it from our measurement. 
So what would the measurement be, Craig? Uh, we've got 24 mil thickness overall, so we have to deduct that from our 1200 wide sheet of seven mil. Uh, so we're left with 1176 mil. So that's gonna be our size or our length that we're gonna be cutting our 40 by 19. That was some great quick math. Thanks, mate. All right, cut away, please. All right, you can see behind me two really sick cars. Craig has built <laughs> both the panel van. And what is this weird creation? Uh, it's a CA Bedford, a 1961 English van, which will be a camper van, if I ever get a chance to finish it. So now we're moving on to the ribs. What are we gonna start with first, Craig? Okay, first we wanna unscrew both the side panels apart from each other. We've already transferred the marks for the ribs onto both pieces, so we know they're gonna be exactly the same. We'll hold them up, pre-drill with a 1-8 drill bit, and then we're using 45 mil chipboard screws with a PVA glue to screw them all together. Uh, one eight drill bit would be three mil or a number 30. And this is easier with two people as well. So I'll get Dylan past first rib over. The timber flush with the top of the ply. Using a bit of uh, PVA glue. And chipboard screw. So not only we're putting the ribs on, I put them vertically, but for this bottom one, because it's uh, quite narrow down here, we're doing it on the side. Okay, with the top one, we are gonna lay it flat on its edge as well, but then we're also gonna be putting another one underneath that on its edge. So that's really gonna strengthen this top bit up, but we will have to rip it and cut it on a slight angle to make sure it's all gonna measure up and mirror up properly. You can either use the saw or you can sand it or an electric plane to get that angle. We've now cut our miter or angle. We're gonna lay that one flat and screw it in exactly the same as the other ribs. And then there'll be a second one that we've also cut on the same angle, which will be going underneath to create an L shape or an over L shape, which will give it a lot of strength off the top of this kicker. Okay, I've got our top piece in. Now, our other front piece, which will just drop underneath there from the ends. And then we're gonna screw down through the top just to really strengthen this top piece up. Not forgetting glue on the top edge as well. So now we've got our basic structure all together. Uh, we are going to put an extra one on the base just to stop it from fraying out at the bottom there. Okay, we have eight ribs along the top and we've got two ribs for on the back section. This bottom one, we're gonna sit it down on the bottom, on the base, mark the height of it on both sides and then we're going to screw it above that line. That reasoning, if we're on any uneven ground and there's a hump here, our ramp should sit fairly level on the ground. Now, we're gonna use liquid nails for this bit, so we're going to put liquid nails up both side pieces and across all top sections of the rails. And then we're gonna be laying a seven mil piece on top of that, starting flush with the bottom of the transition. That's very important, so we wanna be flush down one side and flush with either side at the front. If that's out, the whole thing's gonna be twisted and it'll never ever sit level. So that's very, very important. Now we're going to be stapling the first piece down. If you've got a compressor and a staple gun or a nail gun, is a lot easier. You can use screws, just use small ones and a few for the first lot. Then when we glue the second sheet on, that's when you can put more screws in, space them out evenly, and that'll hold the whole thing down and give it a lot more strength. Yep. We were on, bro. Get the person at the bottom to line it up and then drop it down onto it. You flush with the side and down there. So we've pinned down both sides. We're square with the bottom and with both sides there. When we screw and nail down in the middle, 
that we're not going to miss our ribs. The marks that we put on originally so we knew where our ribs were going to be screwed, if you can't see those lines, just use the screws that have gone into the ribs. So use those as a centre, hold a straight edge down. And the reason why we're hanging it over 20 mil past the last sheet we had is so that it meets the ground nice and flat, okay? The top piece, we're gonna trim off with a jigsaw and then hit with the disc sander to sand that off. Still a little bit wobbly here, so we need to make a brace up. So what we're gonna do, our off cut that we had from our side pieces, the 12 mil, pretty well bad size for anything else. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut a rectangular piece to screw into this top section, and that's gonna brace all this kicker up, and then we'll be done. So we'll measure it up and uh, cut it. It's gonna be the same size as the rails, which was 1176, and our height, We'll go about 400 mil. So we should be able to get that quite nicely out of this piece of board. Okay, so now we have our bracing piece. We'll just slide it up, up underneath, so we can get some screws in through this top piece of uh, pine, and three screws down either side into the 12 mil. And that has already made it a lot more sturdier than what it was originally. Yeah, so this is pretty much the finished product. We're gonna probably go out and paint it. You guys can paint it as well. I recommend using some sort of exterior, exterior paint to seal it all. Maybe a good little tip is to fill up any little crevices, any screw holes with some polyurethane. Um, sand it back and then paint it so it's a bit weatherproof. But um, yeah, I'm super excited about how this turned out. If you guys wanna see some more ramp videos, more tutorials, let us know in the comments below. We're getting ready for an event here in Australia in uh, November. We're heading up to Sydney doing a bit of a road trip. We're actually rebuilding this new trail we have with a full new ramp system um, to take up there. So make sure you keep an eye out for those videos. It's gonna be pretty cool. It's all gonna be a big, um, big Lego set that all come together to create a skate park. So I'm really excited to, for that. We're actually gonna build a landing for this as well. So. Um, if you want to do a little bit more of an intermediate to uh, tutorial, we're going to do a fully collapsible flat 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 pack. Flat pack. That's the word. That will go with this ramp. So make sure you check it out. That'll be coming soon. Craig, what else do people need to know about um, this ramp? Again, with any of the tools that we use today, if you're not confident with them, get someone who is. Um, yeah, just think of the safety thing because it's no good if you hurt yourself with your tools. Uh, and also the costing in this was under $150 in parts for the whole thing. That's the glue, the ply, the screws, the timber, everything. So it's not bad, $150 for, yeah, a great kicker. And you can just shrink those sizes that we've been going over the whole lot um, to make it smaller to suit you. So it's entirely up to you what size you do it. Make sure you subscribe to this YouTube channel if you want to see more videos like this and keep up to date with us on Instagram at Radical Face for our big trip to Sydney in November. Yes. It's going to be very fun. So look weekend. forward to those ones. Every year. Uh, <laughs> exciting times to head. All right, guys, that's it for now. See you guys on the hill. Next time. See you. Bro.